Once you reach the checkpoint Rest Town in Dragon's Dogma 2, you'll receive a side quest with little direction and multiple choices in which you're tasked to find and deliver the Jadeite Orb. Here's how to get the quest, where to find the orb, and which rewards you'll get depending on how you complete it. When you first enter the checkpoint Rest Town, you'll be approached by two individuals, namely a beastrin named Ofulv and a half-man half-backpack named Everard. I must see it reclaimed, post haste. After hearing both of them out, they both want the orb, head to the west side of town to Ibrahim's scrap store. Ibrahim is a forger, despite his protestations that all his items are legitimate. This little shop of mine deals in naught but the finest treasures. But he actually possesses the real orb. Buy it from him for 7,500 GP, but then request that he make a fake one for another two grand. This will take a few days, but you can go to the nearby bench to skip time about four times until it's ready. One note, make sure you don't have any time-sensitive quests in your logs, such as Pray for the Pack, or using up this time could cause you to automatically fail them. Take care of time-sensitive quests first. Once the real and fake orbs are in your possession, you get to choose who gets the genuine article. No matter which one you give to Everard, he'll go straight back to the forger to check its authenticity. And so we shall go to verify the orb's authenticity together. If you give Everard the fake one, you'll have to bribe the forger with an extra 12,000 GP to lie to Everard, or he'll call the guards on you and you could end up in jail. That's more than I can refuse. Once the forger tells Everard it's real, whether he's telling the truth or not, this jadeite orb is indeed the genuine article. You'll get 12,000 GP and a Ring of Skullduggery, an item that increases damage when attacking from behind. A Fulv, the nice boy that he is, accepts either orb without question and gives you the same reward either way. 3,000 GP and an elite camping kit. Oh, thank you, thank you! Now my freedom is assured! Oh, thank you, thank you! Now my freedom is assured! So giving him the fake one and Everard the real one will certainly be less of a hassle, save perhaps from your sassy pawn telling you off. I fear we have done, sir, a Fulv, an unkindness. We can't say for sure yet if this will have implications for your relationships with these NPCs in the long term, but for this particular quest, those are the situations that can play out. Need any other tips for Dragon's Dogma 2? Make sure to check out our ever-growing guide on IGN.com, and while you're here, check out our video on how to sneak into the masquerade for the Stolen Throne quest. For everything else gaming, you're already in the right place. IGN.